Hello, I'm Svetlin Nakov from Softuni, the Software University. I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. Today we'll review a highly popular JavaScript UI library called React. In short, React.js is a component-based front-end technology for the web. The JSX components in React combine HTML plus JavaScript to display the component UI which is bound to the internal component state, which is maintained by the React library. Watch this video lesson to learn more about React.js and React components and why React is so powerful and flexible. I will show you a small demo React app which defines a JSX component and renders it in the web browser. Later, I will show you a slightly more complicated demo how to create a simple React calculator which sums two numbers and shows the results in another text box. We'll review each of the files inside the sample React app in my React demo projects to understand better how it works internally. Okay, let's begin. When we talk about user interface and front-end frameworks, it's worth mentioning React. React is a powerful JavaScript library from Facebook for building web user interfaces using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The UI built from, is built from JSX components, which combine HTML, CSS, and JavaScript using a built-in templating engine. React is component-based UI library. With React, developers create reusable UI components, which have own lifecycle, internal state, and behavior. It's discussable whether React is a library or a framework. It may be somewhere between. By adding some additional components like React Router, MobX, Redux, Flux, React Toolbox, and some others, we can turn React into a fully functional web front-end framework. Let's look at this simple example of React component. Uh, a JSX component. Uh, it's a JavaScript class uh, which defines a UI component called hello message. It takes parameter code name and renders hello plus name plus a div in a div. After that, this new component, hello message, with argument name equals soft unique, is rendered in the page. The HTML result page is shown on the, uh, in the image on the right, and pretty simple. Is usually, I don't want to put your focus on the code and the technology here. It's more important to understand the concepts behind this approach to building user interfaces, which is based on creating reusable, self-contained UI components. Let's see another more complex example of React project. We have a live code example in Repoid, which implements uh, a Sumatra app. The app takes two numbers and calculates their sum. It takes some time to load, more than usually, because the React environment needs a lot of packages to be loaded and configured. Uh, when the project loads, we can see its structure index.js, it holds the app entry point and renders the sumator uh, component. sumator.css holds the CSS tiles for the sumator component. sumator.jsx holds the main JSX component, sumator, and uh, it defines three input fields and um, a button and a button uh, with event handler for the button. 
when the button is clicked, it's event handler sums the two number, two fields, and saves the result into a state variable, which is bound to the last field. Uh, please don't try to understand all the technical details and how the code works. This is just an example which demonstrates certain UI technology. The focus here is the concept of creating reusable UI components. And the concept of data binding between a state variable and a text field. Now we can run the example and enter four and three and click calc sum and the calculated result is seven. It works as expected. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now softunit.org.